My name is Jackie. Jackie, I was Jackie Green at Emory. I'm Jack, Jackie Dalton now. I graduated in 96. And when I first came to Emory, I was going to play volleyball, but just it was too much. So I played basketball. And then they had track team. But they didn't have a women's track team, but Coach Ginn let me run and go to the meets with the guys. But I competed, of course, with the women. So I did that for a couple of years. And then I was a cheerleader from my sophomore year to my senior year. And of course, I played basketball all four years. Um, now I am a PE teacher, drives ed PE teacher at Magna Vista High School in Ridgeway, Virginia. I've been here since 2006. I've been here for 15 years. <laughs> Okay, well, I grew up in Galax, Virginia. Galax, Virginia. And um, he graduate of Emory and Henry, Rose House, Miss House, Coach House. So she's the one who sort of sparked my interest. Um, for one, I never thought I could play basketball in college because I wasn't that great in high school. I wasn't very good. <laughs> I was a late bloomer. But um, I played volleyball for Coach House. I ran track for her my whole high school and um because i don't think she ever coached me in basketball but um she took me to my first visit at emory I, we may have went and watched the game volleyball a basketball game or something and she has pretty deep roots there and contacts and stuff and uh, she basically was like you know why don't you go to emory and you know we sent coach scruggs to film and you know then my mom took me for a visit and you know i didn't get in very many other places so Emory was the best offer, the best, you know, and it was a life-changing experience for the positive. I mean, okay, my high school, we had six black people in my graduating class. Okay, so when I came to Emory, I think there were 12 black students on campus. My whole four years at Emory, I was the only black female basketball player for four years. And then I was the only black female cheerleader for three years. And you know, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, you know, I rode the bus and played with these girls and it was not another black girl. <laughs> there was another, not another black girl around. And, um, you know, it was just, uh, I didn't think anything about it because like I said, coming from Galax to Emory, it was pretty much the same. But um, I can't say that I ever had any issues um, because for me, we were all one. I mean, my, my teammates did not, that I can think of, did not ever treat me any differently. You know, I didn't have issues with anybody wanting to room with me and, you know, things like that. Because stuff like that still exists even now. But when I was at Emory, I didn't have any issues with anybody wanting to room with me when we would go stay the night or, you know, things like that. So just, you know, for me, I had a positive experience. Um, I tried to the people and, you know, Coach Scruggs treated us all the same. <laughs> it didn't even matter. You know, I went to Emory, I played ball, I had the opportunity to excel, and I went with it. You know, and I just tried to instill that in other Black uh, female athletes and stuff. It doesn't matter who's around to you, you do what you do. And that's it. So, I mean, if anybody ever said anything negative, they never said it to my face. <laughs> you know, I never felt slighted. You know, I just, I was scared to play ball. <laughs> that was it. So, it's just, you know, having a support system, your teammates, uh, your roommates, your parents. Hey, you need to get to class. Hey, you better go to class. Hey, well, what's this grade you got? And just, uh, you know, and Coach Self, oh my gosh, Coach Self stayed on me. He was my advisor. And uh, he didn't play Miss Green, Miss Green, Miss Green. And I was just like, okay, Coach Self, I got it. Okay. When I tell you the man stayed on me, he stayed on me. Him and Dr. Roper. <laughs> but yeah, but Coach Self, he he uh, he didn't play any games. He was he was determined to see me be successful. You see these female athletes, whether they be black or white. Uh, and you just want to help them be the best they can be. And you see kids with potential, but maybe nobody's taking the time to teach them. And so I wanted to take the time to teach them like Coach Scruggs and everybody else taught me. So this is how, you know, we're going to do it. And that, that was just the transition. I 
I enjoy teaching PE. Uh, I'm a personal trainer, so um, I train women. That helps me tremendously because I get to fulfill. I get to fulfill that purpose. That I, you know, I feel like my purpose is helping other women and women of all all races. To be able to be a uh, black athlete, African American athlete, and go to campus and succeed, and people recognize what you're doing, and they take the time to recognize you doing, you know, Black History Month especially. I think it's a big deal. I think it's a, you know, it's something that should be done and continue to be done because it's like, I notice you, I see what you're doing, I see your positivity, uh, so forth and so on, you know. So I just think it's important that you recognize and you're sensitive to other cultures. That's the big thing is being sensitive to other cultures and understanding how they do things and, you know, changing, the world is changing. So I think it's I think it's important to be sensitive to other cultures.